Hi, Chad here with Purple Color Life. Today's video is about our 2017 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Winter Edition. Just a reminder before we get started, please click that subscribe button and like the video. Please give comments. Don't forget about our milestone giveaways when we get to 250, 500, and 1,000 subscribers. Details for that are down below in the description. So a little bit of history about the Jeep search. Um, I have been looking for a Jeep for a, a long time and done a ton of research. So those of you out there who had posted videos and information about Jeeps, thank you. I first found Outdoors with the Morgans by looking at their Jeep video and their Butler Jeep Festival video. So thank you to them. Um, key points and if you're looking for a Jeep, take your time. There are a ton of Jeeps out there for sale and they really hold their value. So expect to pay up for a Jeep that's in nice shape and good condition and something that has everything you're looking for. So she makes some appearances in several of our videos. This is Olive. She's our Great Dane Rescue. She's been with us for a couple years and you'll see her throughout several videos. So back to the Jeep shopping. I started this research process several years ago and initially, to be honest, I thought I'd be able to find a Jeep for like $3,500. And when I started the search, uh, I started in my immediate area, kept expanding that search on Craigslist and on Auto Trader and just could not find any decent Jeeps in a 200 mile range uh, for a decent price. And I quickly found that I wasn't going to find the Jeep that I was looking for for $3,500. I had to significantly increase how much I was willing to spend. And really that depended on how many of the options that I wanted was I willing to do without or was I willing to pay up for. So what drove me to this Jeep, which I actually found across the border in Ohio, was that it had several of the features and options that I really felt like I needed to have. And long story short, Jennifer and I spent an entire day Jeep shopping, looking at three different Jeeps and trying to decide which one was the right one for us. And I'm so glad that we picked this one. One of the things I definitely wanted to have on a Jeep was slider rails, rock rails. And I knew you could get those aftermarket, but I was hoping to find one that had some of those off-road features built into the package, something directly from Jeep. I think that I, the reason that I have a guest star in my video today is because she thinks that there's a possibility we're going for a R-I-D-E in the Jeep, so she doesn't want to miss out on that opportunity. Another thing specific to the winter edition Jeep that I wanted, I wanted the metal front bumper, and this metal bumper goes the whole way across. This is a factory Jeep bumper, but you'll recognize it's available on a lot of the aftermarket websites. Another thing about the winter edition Jeep that I didn't know that I would love, but I absolutely do love, is the LED headlights and fog lights. They are so good, so white, and so bright. At nighttime, they make the, the white fog line of the road really glow. They help you see deer in the distance a lot better. And from this Jeep, I've determined any vehicle I buy in the future will only have LED headlights. And like I said, these are factory headlights, factory LED headlights that came from Jeep and were available in 2017 on this special winter edition. There weren't a lot of these winter editions made, so I was really lucky to find one available on the used market. Another thing about this winter edition that I really liked, one of the things I was looking for, were the off-road tires and the more aggressive looking rims. So these tires are a 265 70 17. Uh, standard Jeep tires that come on the sport package are a 255 75 17. So these are a bit wider and the height profile is a little different. And I have always been a fan of the BF Goodrich KO2 tires. Um, this one came with them stock and I'm really happy I like these tires. Working our way here to the back of the Jeep, the winter edition also comes with a fuel cover. That's a metal cover, I like that. I like the tail light guards. And the rear bumper matches the front bumper. And like I said, these came directly from Jeep, but they really mimic the AEV style bumpers that you'd find online on the aftermarket sites. And I like this pipe look on the back. There are attach points for deer rings if you needed to be towed. I like the exposed spare tire. Something I added to this Jeep wasn't included with it when I first got it was the rear view camera. 
It was a simple installation, only took me maybe an hour and a half to do, and I have the proper radio inside with the big screen, so uh, it displays that rear view picture really nicely. If you come and look at the other side of the rear of the Jeep, it's got the matching decal to that front corner. So the front and rear corners have that red decal. When we first looked at this Jeep, we thought that was kind of strange. We, we kind of wanted a plain Jeep, but the more we've had this Jeep, I like these decals and I like that it makes it a little bit different than everybody's black Jeep. After only a few test drives, we determined there was one thing that any Jeep we bought had to have. This was on direct request from Mackenzie, and this Jeep does have it. It's the nine speaker premium Alpine system that includes this rear subwoofer. So this all weather subwoofer uh, really produces a lot of bass in the Jeep and Mackenzie absolutely loves it when she gets to pick the music that we play on our rides in the Jeep. We also were happy that this Jeep still had all the parts and pieces that came with it OEM. In fact, it had the original window sticker. And one of the things that came with it was this cover for the freedom panels. And I'm glad that the Jeep came with that. It also came with the Jeep toolkit, which a lot of the Jeeps are missing. You'll see it has this nice mat in the back, which is reversible. We have the carpet side up right now, but there is also a rubber side. One of the things about the Jeeps that I find really cool is the storage for the hardware. If you remove the door hinges, the roof, and the, the other panel of the roof, I like that you just put the bolts down in there so that you don't lose them. And there's also additional storage here. Underneath here is where the jack is located. And I've got a couple D-rings that I carry with me. I don't leave these on the Jeep because I'm afraid they're a little clanky even with the rubber pieces on them. But if we were on, ever on a Jeep ride, it'd be very easy to connect this here if we needed the tow point. Another thing I like about this Winter Edition Jeep is the rear power point. So this gives us 12 volt power here at the back of the Jeep. And only the second thing that I've added to this Jeep in addition to the rear view camera was the hitch. Our Winter Edition did not come with the two inch receiver and this was maybe even as quick as a 15 minute project to bolt this receiver on and I got this Jeep receiver from Quadratech. That's also where I got the D-rings. Another part of this Winter Edition Jeep that we really like is the Jeep floor mats. I like that they go the whole way across. They're molded specifically for the Jeep. There's an anchor point in the front that keeps them from sliding around. And I like the tread pattern, the deep pattern that's built into the floor mats. Mackenzie likes that there is a USB connection point and we've got this long cord and like I said she controls a lot of the music from the back from her iPhone and there in addition to that subwoofer in the back there are eight other speakers one of which being right up here along the roof line on each side of the back and then there are multiple speakers in the front. Since this is a winter edition it does have the defrost mirrors and I'll put a picture of those up above. We really like the hardtop Jeep especially because we do drive it a little bit in the winter Actually, this Jeep doesn't get very many miles on it other than when we're just taking family rides. But the hard top does allow us to have the freedom panels, which come off really easily. So I'm going to go ahead and take the driver's side one off. You can take one off or both off. Uh, I'll show you how quick it is to take the driver's side one off. There's a knob behind me that I will unscrew. And some used Jeeps are missing these knobs. I was glad that this one had them. The knob looks like this. Then I release this latch, fold the sun visor down, you have access to it. Twist here. Twist back here. And one last one right here beside my head. And this panel is released and ready to lift out. So to remove the panel, I stand outside the Jeep, push up with my hand, and it's lightweight, it just comes right out, and then I place them in those freedom panel bags, typically. I'm just going to set it to the side here for now. And you can see now I've just got the driver's side removed, but I have full open air access 
This Winter Edition is part of the Sahara family of Jeeps and as part of that family there are a lot of features that are included in the control here on the steering wheel. So if I scroll through the menu button you can see there's a digital speedometer available tells me my average mileage which is 18.4 miles per gallon how many miles to empty I like the tire pressure monitor system not all Jeeps have that I was glad that this one does it's got a timer and then it has vehicle info if we're running it would show me the coolant temperature oil life remaining oil pressure transmission temperature you can change your units. We're in the United States, so we'll leave it on US. It does a system check, tells me the system's okay. There are some personal settings you can change, like the language, auto door locks, auto unlock on exit, remote key unlock, driver door is the first press, sound horn with lock, flash lamp with lock, headlight off, so the, I have it set so the headlights remain on for 30 seconds after I turn the vehicle off. Headlights with wipers automatically when you turn your wipers on the headlights come on and there's a power delay of 45 seconds when I turn the key off which gives me access to uh, using the radio and other options here in the vehicle. Headlights illuminate for 30 seconds when I hit the unlock button and we're back to the display units. And then I typically just leave it on the compass showing I'm headed south and the outside temperature is 75 degrees. Then over here you can see it's got a trip, a mileage, your gear. This is an automatic Jeep. That was one of the things we were looking for. I would have loved to have a manual, but preference for the entire family was an automatic. Another special feature of the winter edition are these mountain peaks that are visible not only on those outside graphics, but here in the inside on the, the gauge cluster. Looking at the controls in this winter edition Jeep, we do have power mirrors. I like the fan control and that there's an auto function. Not many Jeeps have that. That's one of the one of the features of the winter edition. So you can set your temperature instead of just a cold and hot knob, set an actual temperature and leave this on auto and it just maintains that temperature. I think we have never even changed this knob from the auto. If we get a little too warm or cold we just adjust the temperature by a few degrees at a time. Air conditioning is a push button, but like I said, it's part of the auto system, so you don't even need to do that. I usually leave this on auto between your vent selectors. I have used the rear defroster at times, or if I saw my front windshield sort of defrost up, I would really turn this to the right, but it hasn't been an issue so far. There is a 12 volt power point here. The winter edition does come with heated seats, passenger and driver. You can turn the limited slip differential off. And that was one of the features of the winter edition that I really wanted. I wanted the track lock rear differential, the auto locking rear diff, and the winter edition did come with that, and that was one of the things I was looking for. It does have hill descent mode. These are your hazard lights. And the winter edition comes, like a lot of Rubicons, with the accessory 110 volt inverter. So when you hit that button, that gives you access to a 110 volt plug, which is actually, I can show you a picture on the armrest. So that's a nice accessory. If you are uh, off grid driving and you need to charge something or use a 110 volt accessory, you can do that directly from your Jeep. So one of the nice things about the winter edition Jeep with the auto temperature control, uh, I know that some people have said that Jeeps tend to be cold and in this winter edition Jeep we have not had that issue. When we do drive it in the winter time here in northern Pennsylvania, it does get cold out, but the Jeep gets warm very quickly. I think partially because of the hard top, but also partially because it is that winter edition. And uh, my wife, who's typically cold in a vehicle, has said that the Jeep is nice and warm, toasty warm, and comfortable to ride in in the winter time. One of the things that we were looking for in a Jeep when we were searching was the 430 radio, which includes this screen. That screen allowed me to add the backup camera. It also has the Sirius. It has the ability to connect USB to your phone or device. Um, and it has that great nine speaker Alpine system in it that we love the sound of. And this 
particular radio has a lot of functionality. Some of it ties into the steering wheel. You can control the radio from there. It's got the Uconnect hands-free phone system. The Jeep has a microphone almost straight above me uh, on the pillar of the front driver side that picks up my voice when I'm talking and everyone seems to be able to hear me just fine when I'm if I'm on a phone call while here in the Jeep. This 430 radio does connect also Bluetooth to your phone so it does not need to be connected via USB and it also has a CD player that also plays DVDs so you can actually watch a DVD uh, if you're not driving the Jeep or play a compact disc. It has a hard disk drive that will store your music so you don't even have to connect your phone. And it can connect to AM, FM, Sirius, Bluetooth, USB. Uh, and there's a lot of options. You, there's a lot of audio adjustments. You can adjust the equalizer. We have the, there's so much bass built into this Alpine system that we have the bass just neutralized and turn the mid and treble up. But there, it's just a terrific sound here in the Jeep. Just some lessons we learned in our Jeep shopping experience. Obviously $3,500 was an unrealistic goal for me to find a Jeep. I really just wanted to fit into the Jeep Club and thought maybe for $3,500 I could find something to do that. For what I wanted, that obviously wasn't even in the ballpark. But the advice I would give you is take your time. We searched for a Jeep that met the majority of our needs and that search took a long time. Some people could be looking for over a year or two years. And I've talked to several people like that that were looking for a Jeep and really just had to wait for the right one. So we'd recommend making a list of features you really want to have, features you absolutely have to have. This Jeep doesn't have every possible feature that we wanted. Uh, for example, there were Jeeps that had both the hard and soft top and I thought that would have been really cool, but certainly not something that we needed. So this had the majority of the options that we wanted. It had all the options that we needed. And that would be my recommendation for you is make that list, take your time searching, expand your search if you need to, be willing to drive, but there are a lot of Jeeps out there for sale. You just need to search and take your time to find the right one for you. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this video about our 2017 Jeep Wrangler Winter Edition. And hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. Please comment about your Jeep if you're a, a, a proud Jeep owner and we'd be happy to hear from you.